The first step is to find a place to make your farm. You guys can make this farm wherever you want. However, I recommend that you make it over an ocean so you can get the maximum amount of creepers to spawn in the farm. Once you guys have chosen where you're going to make your farm, then take some solid blocks so you guys can use any solid blocks you want and build up until you get to about Y level 193. You guys will know once you get to Y level 193 because your Y coordinate will say 193. If you guys don't have coordinates turned on, you can easily turn on show coordinates in the settings of your game. After it builds up, then come down and take some ladders. You are then going to want to take these ladders and place them all along the side of this pillar. This will allow you to easily access your farm. By the way, the reason why we're making this farm high up is so that we can prevent mobs from spawning below so we can get the max amount of creepers to spawn in the farm. The next step is to build one block this way and two blocks this way. Then extend out five blocks this way. One, two, three, four, five. Now fill in this little platform with solid blocks. The next step is to place a piston over here, piston over here, piston over here, and piston over here. Once you have created this little formation, place a resonant torch on the side of this piston. Now come over here and place down an observer with the top arrow facing this next piston. Then place a resonant torch over here, and an observer over here with the top arrow facing the next piston. Then place a resonant torch over here and an observer at this spot with the top arrow facing the next piston. Finally, place a resonant torch over here and an observer with the top arrow facing this final piston. The next step is to place down four solid blocks over here. One, two, three, four. Now place three over here and three over here. Now take a trident and throw it at this piston. Once you've done that, place a lever at the back of this piston and flick it down once. Once the piston stops moving, flick it again. As you guys can see there, once you flick it again, the pistons should start moving around infinitely. Once you have created this trident killer, flick this lever down to shut it off. The next step is to place a glass block over here and a slab at this spot. Once you guys have created this, come down here, then count down four blocks. One, two, three, four. Now place two solid blocks over here and extend out four blocks. One, two, three, four. The next step is to crouch down and place down two chests. Then crouch down and place a hopper that falls downwards towards the chest. Now crouch down and place a reel on top. Then place a microwave hopper on top of here. The next step is to place some solid blocks all around this microwave hopper. This will prevent it from ever moving. All the gunpowder from this farm will get funneled downward through that microwave hopper, into this hopper, and into this chest. At this point, I recommend you guys to place a couple of torches over here and a torch down here, just so you can prevent a mob from spawning at the Trident Killer and Collection System. The next step is to come over here and build up 20 blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Once you have built up 20 blocks, then come down here. Now, build up 20 blocks on these other sides as well. Once you have built up 20 blocks on both sides, you should have a center tube that looks something like this. The next step is to place a solid block in each of these corners. Once you guys have done that, come over here and build out 8 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now come to this side and build out 8 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then come over to this side and build out 8 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Finally, come over here and build out 8 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Once you guys have created this little outline, fill it in with solid blocks. Once you guys have created this platform, then take some solid blocks and place a layer of solid blocks all around. After building that one block high wall, take some stairs, you guys can use any stairs you want, and place some stairs all on top of that wall. Once you guys have created those stairs, then come to one side and create a temporary infinite water source. You guys can do that just like this. This infinite water source will allow you to use two buckets to fill in all the water for this entire farm. You are now going to want to place a water bucket in each of these stair blocks. After placing all that water, it should all flow to the center just like that. At this point, you guys can fill in and break your infinite water source. This is because you'll not need it anymore. The next step is to come over to this corner. Now count that one block diagonally. Then build up four blocks. One, two, three, four. Now break these three blocks. The next step is to turn this way and extend out 14 blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Now turn again and extend 14 blocks this way. One, two, three, four, five. Now turn again and extend out 14 blocks. One, two, three, four, five. 
Finally, connect these two sides. Once you guys have created this little outline, come over here and skip one block and build out a line all the way across. Now skip another block and build another line. You guys are going to want to keep doing this until you get to the other side. After you guys are done with that step, then come over here, turn this way, and place blocks just like this. Let's give a block and place some more. You guys are going to keep doing this until you get to the other side. Once you guys are done with that step, you should have a grid pattern that looks just like this. The next step is to place trap doors on all four sides of the grid. Make sure you guys close your trap doors whenever you place them. By the way, the reason why we're placing trap doors is because creepers will see trap doors as full blocks. That will make them walk off into the water whenever they get to the trap doors. After you guys are done placing trap doors on all the four sides, then take some more trap doors and place a trap door in each of these holes. Make sure you place all your trap doors in the same direction. So basically, as you guys can see here, I'm placing them all on this side of the block. The reason why we're placing trap doors in the holes is because creepers will see the trap doors in the holes as full blocks as well, so they'll walk right off into the water whenever they get near a hole. The next step is to take some buttons, then place a button in this corner, then skip a block, place another button over here, and keep skipping blocks and placing buttons until you get to the other side. Once you guys are done placing those buttons, then come over here, skip one block forward and place another button, and keep doing that until you get to the other side. After placing those buttons, come over here and do the same thing, so skip a block forward, place a button, Block forward, place a button, and you just keep doing that until you get to the other side. You guys are going to want to repeat doing this on all of those other rows as well. By the way, the reason why we're placing these buttons is so that we can prevent spiders from spawning in this farm. After you guys are done with that step, your grid should be looking just like this. As you guys can see there, there are trap doors around the sides, there are trap doors in each of the holes, and there are buttons on top. The next step is to come over to one corner, then crouch down and place two solid blocks. Now break this block. You guys are going to want to now create another grid pattern at this level that is exactly identical to the grid pattern below. After creating this second grid pattern, it should be looking something like this. As you guys can see there, it is perfectly aligned over the bottom grid pattern. The next step is to come down here, then place a trapdoor over each block that does not have a button. So as you guys can see there, there's no button there, so I'm going to place a trapdoor over here, no button over here, so I'm going to place a trapdoor over here, and I'm going to keep doing that for this entire layer. By the way, the reason why we're placing these trap doors is that we can get only creepers to spawn in this farm. The reason why only creepers will spawn under the trap doors is because the other mobs are too tall to spawn underneath the trap doors. Once you guys are done placing all those trap doors, your farm should be looking like this. The next step is to come up to the second grid pattern. Now place trap doors all along the edges. Once you have placed all those trap doors around the edges, now place a trap door in each of these holes. You guys are going to want to make sure that these trap doors are facing the same direction as the trap doors below them. So as you can see there, that trap door is placed on that side of the block. So I'm going to place mine over here on this side as well. By doing this, we will prevent creepers from getting stuck in the holes. Once you guys are done placing all those trap doors, then come over to one corner and place any button. Then skip one block to the side and place a button. And keep doing that until you get to the other side. After placing those buttons, keep on lock forward and place another button. And keep doing that until you get to the other side. Once you guys are done with that row, move on to the next row. You guys are going to want to keep placing these buttons on each of the rows. Once you guys are done with that step, your farm should be looking exactly like this. It's important that you guys place all of your buttons at trap doors in the correct spots. At this point, you guys should have successfully created two creeper spawning layers. You are now going to want to create four more creeper spawning layers on top of these ones. Make sure that you place trap doors under each of the layers. After you guys are finished creating all six creeper spawning layers, your farm should be looking something like this. As you guys can see there, all the buttons and trap doors are on the same spots in each of the layers. And under each layer, there's trap doors over each spot that does not have a button. The next step is to come to one corner, then crouch down and place two solid blocks. Then break this block. Now come over here and extend out 10 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then come back over here 
and extend 10 blocks this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Once you guys have created that little shape, come to this next corner, crouch down and place two solid blocks. Then break this block. Now extend out 10 blocks this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then come back over here and extend out 10 blocks this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. After creating this little shape, you guys are going to want to repeat doing that on those two corners as well. Once you guys are done creating that roof outline, you are now going to want to fill in the entire roof with solid blocks. You guys can use any solid blocks you want. Once you guys are done creating that roof, it should be looking something like this. The next step is using some slabs, then cover the entire roof with slabs. By the way, the reason why we're doing this is to prevent mobs from spawning up here so we can get the max amount of creepers to spawn in the farm. Once you guys are done placing those slabs, come down here. Now come to the top layer and place a trapdoor above each block that does not have a button. Once you guys are done placing those trapdoors, your farm should be looking something like this. The next step is to come down to the Trident Killer, then come behind it and place a couple of torches, one over here and one over here. This will prevent mobs from spawning back on those blocks. At this point, your farm should be complete. You guys should have your roof on top to make the farm dark. Then there should be your six creeper spawning layers, then your water system, and finally your trident killer and collection system down here. I am now going to show you how to use this farm. To use it, first come to this trident killer platform, then flip this lever. That should activate the trident killer. Now all you have to do is wait. Creepers will spawn up there, walk down to the water, then they will get killed by the trident killer where you guys will be able to collect all their loot. By the way, if you guys hold a Loon 3 sword, you will be able to get more drops from this farm. This is because a Loon 3 effect will apply to the Trident. If this farm does not work for you, then I suggest you try switching your game to peaceful mode and then to hard mode. Also, try setting your simulation distance to 4 chunks. You guys can do this in the settings of your world. By the way, with this farm, creepers will spawn both in the daytime and at nighttime. However, more seem to spawn during the night. When you guys want to collect your drops, just come down to this chest over here, and all of the gunpowder will